We've explored what resistors and capacitors can do separately, but in most circuits, we use them together, and some interesting things result when we do. When you finish the wiring connections, set the control knob to on. You'll notice that the meter pointer goes all the way over to the right. Press the key, and the meter pointer returns to zero. Now release the key, and you'll notice the meter pointer returns to the right at a certain speed. Now press the key again, but this time, try moving the control knob when you release it. What happens to the meter pointer? The speed at which the meter pointer moves toward the right changes as you adjust the control. Can you guess why this happens? Hint, remember what a resistor does in a circuit. The control determines how fast the capacitor charges. When the control is set for a low resistance, more current reaches the capacitor and it can charge faster. But when the control is set to high resistance, only a small amount of current reaches the capacitor and it takes a longer time to fully charge. Now if a resistor can affect the, a capacitor's charging time, what else do you suppose it could affect? Think of your answer carefully because we're going to find out how right you are in a few minutes. You'll notice in the schematic that whenever you press the key, it will discharge the capacitor. So the meter immediately goes down. Um, whenever you release the key, the capacitor is charged through the 50K pot and the 1K series. And whenever you turn it all the way down, the resistance all the way down, of course, it's fast because it's still not immediate because you're charging it through the one kilo ohm resistor. When you go all the way to 50K, it's a lot slower, as you'll notice. Now, another interesting thing is, let's say you have the control knob, you charge it all the way up, and then you put the control knob to max resistance. It'll slowly start to discharge. If you turn the actual circuit off, it'll just charge a little bit faster because when you um, when you set it when you charge it up all the way then you set it to high resistance you're still trying to charge it but it's charging slower and of course the voltage is less because of the resistance and there's also a resistor with a meter so you're effectively voltage dividing it so you can't get to max voltage, therefore it will discharge down to a certain point and stay there. And then once you finally turn it off, the capacitor will discharge through the 47K into the meter. Hope you enjoyed this project, project number 38 from the 201 kit. This has been a Cassette Master production.